Uh, good morning. Uh, thanks for the uh, invitation of the conference uh, sponsor. I'm very glad to share the, you know, the information uh, in China. The topic today is the challenge in the in implementation of HIV treatment and prevention in China. Uh, my name is uh, Yan Zhang from the National Center for AIDS Prevention and Control. So uh, before I start the topic, I want to take an introduction of the National Free ART Program. And uh, it, you know, uh, among the uh, estimated, uh, treat, uh, uh, estimated uh, patients in survival uh, is you know, uh, 780 thousand. And a little bit half of them are already identified. And currently, uh, this, is a, uh, this slide shows the, uh, you know, the updated uh, treatment number uh, of the National Free ART program. And uh, in uh, 2011, the cumulative treatment number is already achieved, uh, you know, uh, 150,000. And uh, the treatment, uh, the patients on treatment uh, in 2011 is you know, a little bit more than uh, 120,000. The retention rate of the whole program is uh, 80%. And in uh, 2011, the new patients took ARV uh, is uh, nearly uh, 46,000 uh, patients. And this is the free ART list in the national program. And currently, we have uh, eight uh, ARV drugs. And uh, the, we have already drugs DDI and indeed we uh, were delete from, the, because of the toxicity, delete from the national list. And uh, the uh, eight drugs, including four domestic production and four uh, branded drugs. And uh, uh, before uh, uh, 2011, the first line regimen uh, is uh, AVT and D40 based NRTI background uh, regimen. But from this year, uh, we already switched the recommendation for the first line, includes tenofovir and the efferent as the uh, first recommendation. And this is the financial support from the government. And besides the eight uh, ARV drugs, uh, the government budget uh, already covers the four times uh, CD4 test uh, per year and four t uh, one time a wire load. And besides of this uh, uh, financial support, uh, we, uh, the government budget also provides uh, the doors and uh, the patient's transportation uh, is four times. And the local government will uh, take the responsibility of the OI treatment. Uh, so here is a, uh, the proportion of patients uh, taking ARV by transmission tap. So we can find that at the early stage of the program, uh, the patients, most of the patients uh, are blood donor infected uh, by blood, blood donation. And currently, you know, the uh, IGU and uh, patients infected by sexual uh, is uh, improved quite greatly. And this is the initial CD4 uh, account for the uh, native uh, patients. So we can find uh, from the, uh, 2006 to uh, 2011, and the, uh, the baseline CD4 uh, start from uh, 110 to uh, 210. And this is the current uh, treatment uh, regimen uh, in 2011. And most of patients also take, uh, uh, you know, uh, AVT and the D40 based regimen. And, uh, you know, for uh, tenofovir, uh, only used for the second line switch. And because the government paid for a one time wear load, and this is a, a wear load test uh, in 2011. 
we can find that uh, the totally uh, uh, wire load suppression is uh, more than 80 uh, per percent. And uh, you know, the wire load suppression uh, among patients, active patients, uh, uh, and uh, uh, wire load test uh, among uh, nearly 80% patients, they have uh, the, the viral load test. And when we uh, stratified the uh, populations, we can find uh, the patients uh, infected by sexual has the, the, the highest uh, uh, viral suppression rate. And this is a situation about the new patients that take uh, ART uh, in 2011. Uh, we can find that, uh, you know, Tenofovir uh, already uh, at the first uh, in the initia initiation uh, recommendation used for uh, nearly 9% patient. And we also treat uh, nearly 9% patients with with CD4 more than uh, 350. And next step, I want to show the milestone of the treatment and the prevention strategy in China. Uh, we only start this uh, strategy among several discontent couples. Uh, in 2008, uh, the first uh, pilot was launched in Yunnan. We hope to, uh, uh, you know, uh, provide uh, the uh, ARV for the serodiscontent couples. And in 2010, China uh, start the uh, 2000, uh, two pilot uh, in uh, two uh, minority groups because of the unacceptable high conversion rate. In 2011, China announced a, a national strategy to start the uh, treatment as a prevention among their discontent couples. So about the first pilot in 2008 in Yunnan, uh, which uh, is the uh, uh, highest uh, epidemic, HIV epidemic area. And uh, we proposed to uh, enroll 200 individuals, uh, the index partner. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we Actually, uh, at the end of 2008, we only uh, enrolled 10 uh, patients. Uh, we found the two major uh, challenges about this project. The first one is local doctor. You know, because most of patients in HIV infected patients located in rural area. So the local doctors, they didn't uh, accept the idea treatment as a prevention. Uh, they hope to treat uh, patients who met the national criteria, 200 or 350. And uh, for the HIV positive uh, systematic uh, patients, they have no any, uh, you know, uh, willingness to take KRV because they think they are healthy and they don't need to take uh, the medicine. So this is, uh, HIV cell discontent couple situation in China currently. Uh, we, are, uh, we have, you know, uh, uh, 1,600 couples, discontent couples in whole country. We already treat, you know, uh, more than uh, 50 of them. And for the residual uh, couples, we can find of them, most of them have the CD4 test uh, more than uh, 350. And the, the, uh, the virus suppression rate for the, uh, you know, uh, discontent couples already take ARV uh, is 80%. So the challenge uh, about this uh, strategy we faced includes uh, the lack of uh, a clear guidelines to what is uh, exactly uh, treatment as a prevention. And uh, also, we lack of ac acceptance by the healthcare uh, workers. They, uh, you know, need to provide the early treatment services. And for patients, uh, how they understand the criteria to start ARV beyond the, the current national criteria. 
and uh, we showed the, our uh, eight uh, drugs uh, in the uh, national free ART list. So the uh, limited availability and the side effects of the current uh, first-line recommendation uh, is huge. So this is updated treatment criteria in China. We will use this criteria from this year, and we can find that we will treat uh, all of patients uh, less than uh, 350, and between 34, uh, 350 to 500, we will treat, uh, you know, patients with higher value load and rapidly declining CD4 and age more than 65. And we also treat some part of patients with any, regardless of the CD4 count, it includes you know, active hepatitis B and have active, uh, uh, you know, uh, tuberculosis and HIV-associated naturopathy. And all of pregnant women and all of HIV positive uh, disc, uh, discounted couples are steady sex partner. So, uh, response to the challenge uh, I mentioned before, uh, we hope to strengthen the community mobility. Uh, this is a you know, patient support system, but uh, currently it needs to strengthen in China. And we also, to optimize our option of the regimen, we need, you know, uh, example for uh, fixed dose uh, combination in China to use, uh, to use two patients in higher uh, CD4 count. And we need to educate and more information provided for the local physician and the uh, patient. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.